Hi guys, uh, today I thought I might be sharing with you some paperwork that I've done just starting painting abstract and uh, before I start started to paint on canvases I obviously started to paint on paper and I think a lot of people uh, while starting ask themselves how should they start if they should start to paint directly on a canvas or they should start to paint on paper first and I would recommend you to start painting on paper first just to be able to to understand how colors work and especially if you are just a beginner and um, especially if you want to try some techniques and that you might not want to ruin an actual canvas that cost uh, more money than some paper uh, you would rather start on paper and today I wanted to share you my first ever works on paper it's a little bit embarrassing because some of them are pretty ugly for <laughs> in my opinion but maybe you will like them uh, anyways if you like something you can always have it and write an email to me and I can see if I can send it to you even for free but so let's start with the first one that I painted and I actually think that this first one was pretty good and uh, uh, because somehow I managed the balance of colors and shapes and contrast and so on. So this is basically the first piece of paper I, uh, I painted. It's an um, aquarelle paint, uh, paper a little bit um, rough so you can see it it has a little bit of a texture and here i used acrylic colors uh, that i always use and i don't use oil because it takes too much to dry and i don't have the patience for that and uh, here you can see i used kind of like um, some violet pink blue tones and uh, i remember that first i painted all in sort of a blue color and then i started to add on top of it here i walked uh, especially layering so basically the first layer it dried and i applied the second layer and at the very end i applied this dark green smeralt spots and uh, this white dots and i named this um paper uh no sea like sea like um like water and i don't know why but it reminds me somehow of some leaves and maybe some octopuses so this one was the first one uh then after that i had a really bad moment and i drew and I draw something like this, which I honestly hate. <laughs> uh, you can look at it like this in perspective of lips, but it can be viewed on any from any angle you want. And um, I'm not really gonna talk about this a lot because I just don't like it, honestly. But if you like it, you can always ask it and uh, I can send it to you. This one will definitely send it. Uh, send for free. <laughs> um, then I had some tries and then I made something I really loved and after that I realized how I uh, could paint uh, some some really abstract uh, just colors you know like when a canvas it's, it has a plain color with some texture and I did this guy that I somehow like and I think I still like it and I really like that there is this contrast between orange and blue in here someone is calling you so basically uh, this one I really like and I also like that there is some sort of light in here it feels like it's some glass or iced water so this one was the third one, but not the third one technically, but the third one that I kept. Then I had this moment and I like this one a lot. And this one is mainly oil pastels. So if you see closely, you can see that 
this, this, these colors, it's oil, pastel. And uh, I really like the colors in here. It's soothing and uh, they complement each other very well. Um, I somehow see a scenery here with a moon and mountains and maybe even a river. I don't like to see anything particular on abstract paintings and I don't really uh, put any intention to do it, but somehow this one turned out into a scenery. So this guy. Then I did these two guys that I, I would say I love because they are really straightforward, very colorful, and I applied different techniques uh, that I use um, now. And uh, here I realized how to actually make this kind of spot, how to have these edges. Uh, it's about a collage and um, layering paper on top of it, cutting the form and just applying some paint. And uh, I really like these guys, and I think they work very well together. And I think if you cut this and put them into frame, this still can be a really nice uh, piece of art on some wall. And uh, these two guys uh, goes together. I also really loved here um, how I applied some black dots and just altogether different shapes. This part here is really pretty. And the colors somehow, they really matched. I was not thinking while I was doing, I just remember using a lot of purple and somehow it turned out into some orange purple abstract painting. So this one is really interesting because I actually had a dream and I saw this shape, not like this, but somehow uh, this thing with something that goes through this thing. And then while drawing, I added this kind of pattern and this kind of pattern. And I don't know if I like it, but I'm pretty sure that someone can appreciate this kind of thing. It's also uh, acrylic and oil pastels. Here I put oil pastels on top and also some ink. You see some black that is ink. And I think only ink can give you this black because you see it dark on dark, but you still can see it's black. If I would put some uh, acrylic paint, you would not see the difference as much as you see here with the ink. It's Chinese ink, black. So then I created something with um, a taping technique, which is applying scotch. And you can see the edges and applying some paint, then changing the rex direction of scotch and just smoothing colors. And uh, I kind of like this one. I can see a little fish in here. And I use different brushes. You can see here, this was a dry brush that uh, feels like scratching. Here I, I added some yellow and I just let it drip. And I really like this kind of differences in here by two very complementary colors, blue and yellow. Um, here is some dry brush and here applied some blue on top of purple with also a dry brush. And I think this guy turns out pretty cool. What do you think about this guy? Comment below. Then uh, I did this guy that I have actually a tutorial on my Instagram page. And uh, this was purely um, adding color, adding shape, uh, and just very, very intuitive painting without any layers, it's just one layer, one straightforward. It's just covering the blank spots. So basically it's just one layer. And I use a palette knife that you can see here like this. And I basically just scratched all over the painting and it added some texture and uh, brought everything together. And I like this one, I think it's cool. It's also mm -hmm. can be framed and put it on the wall. I think this one is kind of cute. Then I did um, contemporary uh, together, these two guys. And I like that. I like them a lot because um, I, when I was drawing them, they were together. So they were stick together, but somehow they turned different and very similar at the same time. I would like to talk about this one more because I just like it more in terms of composition. I think there is more into it. This one is 
kind of all the same, but I don't mind it. I think it's very pretty too. But let's talk about this guy because he actually used really lots of different techniques uh, and uh, techniques, and I was just experimenting. And I really like the transparency here. Uh, that it's very very wet paint, almost like water. And uh, I like here. I took some pencil and I wrote something down, some gibberish, nothing, no sense. And uh, at the very end, I remember using uh, a spray, applying this, and then on top, applying some dark spots. And this one turned really nice. And you can see there is also a pattern here, if you will look closely. That's also a masking tape technique. So basically, there's a whole lot of techniques, but still, it doesn't feel very heavy. And uh, despite that, I used a lot of different techniques. It still kind of gives me space and air, and it's kind of transparent, and you can see, still see the white of the paper that I really like. This one can be also applied on the wall together or by itself. I will show you this one more closer. And the one I really liked, actually, let me start with this one because this one was made earlier. I really like this one. I don't know why, it's kind of happy, so I called it happy. And there are actually, there is actually a smile, so there are some smiles. And this is just very pastel tones. Everything is with white, so every color I used here, I mixed with white. And they kind of complement each other. And I used a lot of oil pastels. Somehow, I think this one works. Then I did something I really loved, and that was the first time I tried to use a palette, um, like a scratcher, and uh, applying paint directly on the paper and just not mixing it, but just going directly on the paper. And if you look at this one, you can see that it's 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 really interesting how these patterns worked out. It, it really seems like ice. And it was not intentionally, obviously. It just happened while scratching with the palette. And I think that this one, I called it castle. It looks like really a castle and like a little uh, field. And this is like some ice on mountains and here, I can definitely see a ship, a ship coming, and uh, that is kind of amazing how something you just just do turns into something your eye can perceive. And uh, then I added some yellows with some oil pastels, some green here, and I really like this space. I think this one can be a really nice. Uh, framed artwork and uh, let me show you the last two I kept not did but kept on paper that I think they work and uh, on this format of paper it's A3 format then I went bigger and I'm gonna show you something and uh, these two guys and I really love them uh, it's sort of a street white graffiti kind of thing. I use sprays, colors, uh, I moved the color around as you can see. And this guy inspired me to do this big large canvas over here. And uh, this is mostly like a little bit more, um, I would say, built and shaped. But definitely these two guys inspired me. And I think this one also, these two can walk together as by their own self, but I really love this. And also the techniques and colors I used here, completely experimental, totally unintentional. Un, uh, then I went bigger and uh, I used paper uh, because I would recommend to go bigger paper. So you will be ready to big canvas while you are painting on a big paper because you have more space. And this one is already an A2 piece of paper, I believe. And it's a red one, so it's this color. And on top of it, I just applied some paint. I like this one, it's a little bit more cubism style. And this one is bigger, you already can see it. Then next one, 
from this series uh, and uh, I'm telling you that I used some color paper, paper and I would encourage you to do that too because you can see some contrast going through a color paper and uh, you will kind of understand if you want to prepare your canvas with some undertone already uh, by walking with paper that is already colored. This guy somehow turns out really pretty. And this was this color paper. And you see how red bump. I'm not sure I really love it, but some people think it's pretty. And I think it can be framed too. And uh, the last one from, I oh, know, not the last one. Another one big, like on green. This one I really like. I think this one is pretty. It's white paper. Not really white, it can be, I think it's white, a little bit bluish white, like little, little tint of light blue. Here I use different techniques, but mostly I would just go with the paint and brush. And this is spray bottle, black. It's all about layering in this kind of things. One layer on top of the other, but wait till it dries, sometimes I don't wait and it's a mess. But if you want to mix colors while they were still wet, you can always do it. This one, I really like. And the last one, I'm not sure about, but I use this technique and I actually have a painting uh, like this. It's kind of like, a, it reminds me a little bit of China or oriented kind of things. I'm not sure I like the proportional composition on this one, but I never used this technique of just dropping really smoothly and just losing control. This is just applying um, oil pastel or ink in a way that I could not control my hand. So basically this is it guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video inspired you to start painting and uh, to start painting on paper at least if you uh, are just a beginner as I was and uh, trying to just experiment with some colors and techniques before you start actually painting on uh, actual canvases because uh, it's a little cheaper and you can always uh, throw it away as you, it's kind of hard to throw away a canvas that you don't like because it's still like kind of a piece of art and you, you will keep it. At least I keep them <laughs> all, if I don't, even if I don't like them. So I hope this video inspired you to draw and uh, if you have the opportunity to, to paint directly on canvas, just get yourself canvases and paint on them. And I would say that don't be scared of going large. I really started painting very large after like three months I was painting. And a lot of people would say it's too early, but I think it gave me uh, the, the, the permission to actually just be bold and to paint um, without being afraid to ruin anything and I think this is very important don't be afraid of ruining the painting uh, you can always paint on top of it till it's actually paintable <laughs> but uh, yes don't be afraid and just go big uh, uh, don't worry if you like big paintings just go big right away don't uh, stop yourself and don't think that you will need some more time some more practice to stop uh, painting big I don't think so I really started painting large abstract paintings like almost immediately and uh, I would say that I mm, painted on paper for about a month and then I was ready to paint on canvas. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I encourage you to like and subscribe to my page. I'll be posting more and um, I, now that I'm in the studio uh, I will be posting a lot of process and uh, how I try to figure out my way in art. Thank you and have a nice day. I hope this video encouraged you to paint.